WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory. S&P's up five points right now, trading at 2833. You get the Dow up 78 points, trading at 25,618. NASDAQ basically flat, up about a half a point, trading at 7575. Gold contract up $10, 1340, We got oil down 15 cents at 51.53. We'll jump over to natural gas, some negative action in natural gas this morning. We got a build, a little bit of a surprise build on the EIA inventories at 1030. And the dollar index pulling back 436 ticks at 96.815. Start things off, let's jump over to the futures market. We'll start it off with the Dow. So up near the session highs. Highs made at about 1130, an hour and a half ago of 25,656 in the Dow. About 30 points off that level currently. S&P is trading at 28.33, lows at about 10.30 of 28.26, only about a few points from the session highs right now. NASDAQ 100, 72.41 currently. We made a low at a similar time of 10.30 a.m., 72.05, so up about a half a percent from that level. There's your natural gas contract. There is the surprise build at 10.30. We'll take a moment, jump over actually to what the natural gas inventory said. Rising 119 billion cubic feet. Estimate was somewhere for a rise of 109, so about 10 extra billion cubic feet in the reserves than they had expected. And that sending natural gas lower, pretty remarkable. We trade from three, excuse me, 238. It was really 239 almost coming into that number. And boom, 231, cheap natural gas. On the flip side, gold clawing back some of that loss on yesterday. Gold hit 1348 yesterday, pulled all the way back to 1331. We're up right back up there, 1343. And crude oil, 5162, and the price of crude, quite a drop yesterday on crude EIA numbers, and still just kind of in the middle of that range that we had yesterday. Quite a decline, and on that number, we reached a low on that of $50.63, currently about a dollar to the dot above that level. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. And of course, Dave White live at 2 o'clock with a power trading hour. And Tom O'Brien wraps things up from 3 till 5. And we get Beyond Meat earnings today. Ahead of that, down about 3%, but it's been quite a run since its IPO early last month. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up next.